Welcome. The SP license and the master license are great collectible pieces, but they do have some design flaws with the switches that control the sound effects. If your license can't play a certain sound or just cuts off the sound, I'll show you a few ways to correct the issues. These problems don't plague the US versions since they were remolded. What you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a pen, some cardboard, tweezers, a camera, glue, wire cutters, and tape. Opening up the SP license is a very simple process. Start off with grounding yourself. It's a toy, but it still has electronics. Just touch anything metal and you're good. Take the battery cover off with your pen. If the screwdriver fits, you can use that too. Some changes have screws on the inside, but most don't. Then remove any batteries. Next, open the lid, then take out the judgment and phone panels. Remove the two screws on the slider first. If this is the first time these screws are being touched, you'll hear the virgin crack. The best thing to do is to slightly tighten the screws till you hear the plastic click. Then unscrew them. All the outer screws are the same size, but if you want to put the screws back the way they were, just put the slider screws with the slider back piece to remember them. After all eight screws are out, pull on the back to lift off on the front end. All the stuff on the back is screwed on, so leave the front on the table to avoid parts falling out. At this stage, take photos of both halves so you can look back if you forget how stuff goes in. The springs for the lid are built inside, so you don't have to worry about those ones. Only the top button spring can be removed. How the changer triggers the sounds is simple. There's four mini switches. The top one is for the top button, the bottom one is for the lid, and the two side ones are for the change and judge mode. The main issues with the changer is them being stuck in phone mode. If one of the two switches isn't pushed down, phone mode is gonna play. The cause is the mini switches on the right side are either not being pushed all the way down due to the plastic being worn out, slipping out of the slider's groove, or they got stuck from being misused or dropped. If you don't see anything wrong, it's gonna be that the switches are just failing to be pushed all the way down with the slider. You can test out all the electronics without the front. Just pop in some batteries and then just hold the switches down for yourself. To fix the problem, you'll have to cut very small pieces of cardboard and tape it to the red part of the slider. You'll also have to worry about a small groove on the red piece that slips into the top black part to keep them aligned. Try not to block it and the screw holes. Keep adding cardboard till the switch is fully depressed. I usually got it to work with just one bit. Same goes for the top switch. If the sound's cut off when you pop the changer lid open, the red lever's not pressing down on the switch. You do the same fix. Just cut a small piece of cardboard and tape it. The top switch is a lot easier to deal with. Now, if some switches are jammed inside, you'll have a problem. First, try pulling them out. You'll need some tweezers. If you're lucky, you solve the issue. If they're broken, the toy is basically useless. The only thing I can suggest is to find a junk SP license and swap out the guts, or you're capable of desoldering the switches from a good unit. If the licenses don't play any sound effects or it's dead, a wire's broken. There's only six wires in the toy. The board easily pops out. It's held by a screw next to the speaker. Take that off and everything comes out. If a wire is broken, say on the speaker, you can simply resolder the wire back on. But if you don't know how to do that, there's two ways. First, try just taping the wire back on. It doesn't have to be perfect like the slider switches. Just make contact and stick it on the, on the speaker. Another way is to glue the wire. Always put the glue on after you place the wire down. If the glue gets between, it may block it from touching. You might run into a problem that the exposed wire broke off at the end. You'll have to strip some plastic off to get to the wire. You can use a regular wire stripper. How these work is you grab the wire, not tightly, rotate it around and pull. The plastic should come off after a few tries. If you don't have the tool, you can use a knife to scrape it off, but it's more harder. Once the sounds work again, just reverse the steps from disassembly. You may have an issue with the top button. Just fiddle around, you'll get it in. A tip with putting screws back in, don't just start screwing them in, go in the other direction first. This will make the screws fall back into the groove and make it easier for you to screw them back in. This will also prevent the screws from misaligning and making a new cut into the post. If all's good, your SP master license will work again. If the slider is too hard to move up and down, just loosen the two screws till it moves freely. Thanks to all that watched. I hope you enjoyed this new series. And if you have any suggestions of other problems from other PR or Sentai toys, leave a comment and I may cover them in the future. You can follow me on Twitter at Archer9234 and even leave suggestions there.